We finished our stay in Edinburgh. Now we're gonna catch the train to Glasgow. Let's go. Managed to jump on the train. Pretty easy system. Just bought our ticket to the machine, paid by card. Climbed on the right train. Oh, looks like the ticket lady's coming to check tickets. <sighs> So we're staying on a houseboat. Tada! Home sweet home. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. We took a train this morning from Edinburgh to Glasgow and yeah, it's got quite a different feel to Edinburgh. It's quite uh, gritty, it's a little bit dirtier, but it's bustling, full of people, there's a lot of street art. We've eaten uh, some beautiful donuts, we visited some design centers, we've uh, stepped into the fantastic cathedral and now we are in the necropolis, the Glasgow necropolis. It's a beautiful space. Uh, filled with graveyards and tombs and it overlooks uh, the cathedral and uh, we're experiencing some glorious sunny weather so I think in Scotland they call this taps off weather uh, gotta take your tap off <laughs> and enjoy the sun so that's what we're gonna do except the taps off <laughs> we've stopped off at Drygate Brewery near the necropolis for a pint or a half pint in this case. <laughs> what are you drinking? Um, well, uh, a stout. Calls it the breakfast stout. Which seems apt to me. <laughs> We've come out to Salchi Hall Street and we're eating dinner tonight at Oxen Finch, which is a tapas style Scottish restaurant. Uh, let's go inside, see how the food is. Peach margarita is delicious. So we've ordered a bunch of uh, tapas, a bread one to start, bread course, which is a Turkish style flatbread and um, green harissa hummus, feta and pickled chili. There's some mint that really comes through there, it's very fresh and light, delicious. Next up, brisket pastrami, Jerusalem artichokes, pine nuts and tequila cured sea trout with charred uh, corn Ooh, and pine nuts, what a treat. Great interplay of textures in that dish. Let's have a taste and see how the cured tequila salmon and tastes. Lemon tastes like, mm. Oh yeah, hopefully you can taste the tequila. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Can you corn taste is sweet. Hint of tequila. Mm. Be warned, if you order five dishes here they will arrive in about 25 minutes and they will start looking at you to leave after half an hour, <laughs> which is a little bit disconcerting. We've got a lamb duo now, lamb and bone marrow koftas, lamb neck with a smoked potato mousse. Let's dig in here. Mm -hmm. Intensely spiced, great texture, very nice. The lamb neck is very um, tender, which is lovely, tasty, and well paired with the crispy potato bits for a bit of texture. This morning we're in the west end of Glasgow. We're walking along the Kelvin River pathway and we're heading to the Botanical Gardens. We're in the desert. This is the beautiful Kibble Palace. Entrance here is also free, so definitely a good place to pull in and warm up if it's a cold day outside. Don't miss the super cute Ashton Lane uh, in Glasgow's West End. It's full of bars and restaurants, uh, a little cinema, uh, beautiful fairy lights. Um. Another great opportunity uh, for something to do when it rains, which it's starting to do now, uh, is the Kelvin 
is the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum uh, here in Glasgow. Beautiful building and apparently there's a lot of interesting stuff to explore inside, art and natural sciences. So you wouldn't expect to find uh, Vietnamese food necessarily in Glasgow, but we're here at the Hanoi Bike Shop. They make their own tofu here. We've got some coconut and peanut tofu, got some steamed veg, got some kimchi spring rolls, and some pork belly hiding there underneath all those delicious greens. Yeah, beautiful. Kimchi spring rolls. That's hot and delicious. Mm. Great choice in Glasgow. <laughs> Great way to explore Glasgow is to do the city centre mural trail. Uh, there's a whole lot of public art all over the city and it's a good way to walk from place to place, seeing things along the way, stopping for a beer here and there and you get to see great art like this uh, Glasgow's tiger. This is the swimmer. 